What's up guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna explain how you can create a free Minecraft server for free. So the first thing we need to do is just go to this website. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. And then we have two options. You can either click on sign up or sign in with Google. So I'm just gonna stick with this uh, sign up procedure. Now we should leave a username. So I believe every username has a capacity of three servers that you can create by using some specific user. So in this case, uh, let's say I'm gonna name it Al Standard youtube and then uh agree to these terms and whatsoever click on next now you should make a password and then after you've set your password you can uh, type an optional email here and then click on sign up as you can see we will end up with something like this so you should click on create a server and then afterwards as you can see guys we have java edition and we have bedrock edition and it's specified for one uh, windows 10 and then uh we can use it also on mobile to make uh, free minecraft mobile servers and then we can uh, change our logo from here and also we can change the address of the server so you can manipulate these if you want and also you can make a welcoming message here and then type whatever you want to so we are simply going to click here on create and let's just stick with the java edition and then simply after that uh, I'm just gonna click here on skip you can also connect to Google Drive so you can make backup of your server and then simply uh, this is what it's gonna look like when you want to turn on your server or uh, adjust it so let's begin with all these uh, simple tabs so the first thing you need to know this is your address that you can use to join into your server this is the software that this server is using so you have multiple options so for now we have vanilla we can change it maybe to a snapshot paper pocket all of these come with uh, some kind of plugins so uh, for instance if we install paper bucket so uh, I believe you should have a paper bucket uh, plugins available uh, for this software if it was installed into your server also if you look at these versions uh, these are uh, the Minecraft versions that allowed on this server so in my case I'm sticking with vanilla but I need to change the version that I'm playing on so let's say I'm playing on 1.21 and then click on reinstall install and then if you having a world that you've already started on this world make sure you create a backup and if not just click yes and reinstall and let's wait it and then as you can see we have a tick here so simply go back to this uh server menu and then as you can see uh we changed the software into vanilla still and then we have the version 1.21 which is what we wanted to do in the first place now the second thing we can do here is going to the options which is an important thing to focus here because uh, many people end up creating a server on Eternus and they say that they cannot enter into their own servers and it is because some people are using uh, free Minecraft which I believe it doesn't allow premium users to enter so to fix that there is an easy solution for that is by clicking this correct option and make it ticked like this so this will allow premium users as well as free Minecraft users to enter. Uh, for instance, if you're using t Launcher like me, you can enable this option so you can allow correct players to enter. And these are the slots. So I believe it's kind of uh, unlimited for players to enter uh, any specific server. And then the game mode is survival. Difficulty is easy. Always make sure it's set to normal so you should have a normal Minecraft experience. Also, PvP is enabled when you are fighting with your friend, for instance. And if you want to play friendly with your friends, just to it off and then uh you don't want to mess with these i believe uh leave the rest as it is so i believe the purpose of spawn protection is just to have a specific number uh, just like totem so it can save your uh inventory also if you want to um, make the resource back required or forced so you just tick this and then upload a specific resource back for this specific server let's say for instance you're playing with your friends a uh, a map that is customized with a resource back so you should so you should enable this and also you should upload the specific resource pack for this server and also that it should be compatible with your map also uh i believe this resource back prompt uh, it is not really necessary so leave it as it is also for the environment and these stuff you should always leave them as they are now for the console uh menu it is actually specified for some types of uh commands that you can enter so these are actually affecting uh when the players are online on the server so for instance let's say you're making a slash kill everybody so it's gonna kill everyone that is available on the server and playing at the moment for the log uh, I believe
believe uh, it is empty because we didn't create any uh, any world inside this server. So we just gonna leave this menu for now. And for the players, you can here add a whitelist. For the ops, you give them some permissions to um, do some stuff inside the server. Maybe uh, switch from survival to maybe a uh, creative mode. Also for the banned players, uh, most of you know, uh, you can use this option to ban some players. So we can go into the file. So if you are interested into maybe creating some specific folders inside your uh, Minecraft server or even extracting your Minecraft world and put it into single player for instance, you can do these from here by clicking on download here. So if we go here on the back apps, you need to connect to your Google Drive and for the access, um, you can here share an access uh, to another Eternus username. Let's say for instance, we have uh, player one and player two. So if I'm player one, this is my username, Outstander YouTube. So my friend is gonna be Outstander YouTube too. So I'm gonna grant this user on Eternus that is registered uh, as we typed in the sign up process by clicking here on add. So he should have also a uh, accessibility to turn the server on and off. And also you can give him some specific commands or even even some specific uh, rules inside the server so he can manage it or even do whatever he wants. So uh, now we're pretty much done here. So uh, let's make a quick recap. From server, you can turn on uh, the server or turn it off. Also from options, you can play with server configurations. For the console, you can do stuff or commands inside the server while players are playing. So for the player section, you can make people admins inside your server. For the software, for the software section, you can uh, install some mods or even a plugins inside your Minecraft server. Let's say for instance world did it. And for files for sure you can upload any world here or maybe uh, download your own world. So for the worlds menu uh, you can upload your world from here my bad. So you can click on upload here and simply maybe uh, put any Minecraft custom map and then simply you can play with your friends. And for the backups you can simply here back up your world and for the access you can grant another Ethereum username uh, the access to turn on your server or turn it off. Now, now, for the most important part is turning on your server is just by clicking here on star so yes I accept the EOLA and then click on OK so you should have a waiting queue that is 16 minutes so you just gonna wait this up so the boring part about this service is you should wait a specific time so it differs from time to time so in my case it is actually 16 minutes so I'm just gonna wait this up and come back later so as you can see guys the server is now online but before you get the online message here there is a a message that is gonna pop up somehow and then you should click on accept again and then you should wait for a bit like two minutes or so and then after that you should click on connect here and then take this IP and then just copy it and then go to your Minecraft make sure the version is compatible with the Eternus version that you've put already so click on multiplayer and then proceed now uh, add a server so uh, this is gonna be YouTube and then the server address is gonna be the one that we copied so we click Click on done and as you can see we can uh, look that we have uh, the welcome to the server of out to standard YouTube which is the message that I talk about that you can change so I'm just gonna enter into the world and let's see if it's gonna work or not so as you can see guys we just loaded into the world so this is my ping uh, it is pretty much good so if I type anything it delivers so I cannot actually set game mode to anything as you can see because I'm not an operator so if I go back to the Eternus website and then uh, click on the access here or sorry my bad we go on to players then we go onto the outstander here so we wait here then we click here on operator so we can give him permission to do whatever he wants inside the server so we can type again game mode creative so as you can see guys i can fly inside my own server because i'm an admin inside it so that's it guys uh, hopefully if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe for more videos like these peace out